Hi, I'm Richard, and over the last 10 years, I've helped over a thousand students apply to UK universities as a professional admissions consultant. Hundreds of those have applied for medical school admissions. And for medical school admissions, perhaps more than any other course in the UK, work experience is essential and the key to standing out from the crowd and getting into the most successful and competitive courses. So work experience is not just important for medicine, it's actually a requirement. You now have to have work experience in the healthcare profession in order to apply for any medical degree in the UK. But more than just being an essential requirement, it's actually a way for you to understand the medical profession. So it's not just enough to want to be a doctor. Do you want to be an oncologist? Do you want to be a pediatrician? Do you want to specialize in ENT? Knowing the differences between these and having seen them in a hospital or having worked in a GP and spoken to people about them is important so that your application makes you seem serious, like you really understand the different branches and avenues of your career and genuinely have an idea as to which might be the one that you want to specialize. And that informational advantage will help you stand out, not just in the personal statement, but also, of course, in the interview, which you're going to have to do should you get invited. So we recommend doing at least one week of work experience. Now, the more, the better for your application and to give you more things to talk about in your interview, and importantly, to better understand the profession and how you might best serve it. Most typically, a student will do one week in a GP, office shadowing a GP, but it is also possible to shadow in a hospital, a pharmacist, or a care home. So finding the experience can seem quite daunting, but luckily there are loads and loads of different people out there and organizations who want to help you on your first steps towards becoming a doctor. The direct approach is typically the best. That is applying to your local GPs and hospitals and writing a short cover letter saying you wish to apply to medicine and would like to do some experience and letting them know the dates that you have available as well as potentially areas of interest and your grades. There are hundreds of organizations that can help you to get the right placement for you. We recommend Volunteering England, who have helped tens of our students to find a placement all around the UK, but we'll also put a link in the description to many other organizations that can help you to apply. Get to know these organizations because they can also help you to find the right areas which you might want to specialize in later down your career. The BMA, the British Medical Association, do not like the practice of you being charged to find placements because it is a requirement. So be very wary of anyone who does try to charge you for finding a placement when there are many available who will help you for free. Now, in addition to direct applying and those organizations, you can also, of course, use your personal connections. If you have any family, friends, or relatives in the healthcare profession, these can be fantastic ways to ask for shadowing. Also, your school's career consultants and teachers in the sciences may well have connections. It's worth asking them if they can help to make that connection for you. Beyond that, you can also apply to help in local charity shops and local care homes. And lastly, there are hundreds of volunteer and charity websites who'd be really grateful to have your application. But do make sure that it is close enough to medicine to fulfill the requirement that has been set before applying to medical degrees. So once you've secured a placement, you want to dress smartly for your first day. You'll want to go with a small list of what you want to get out of that placement, but most importantly, listen to how you can be helpful to them. As the placement progresses, you want to be talking to as many people as possible. You want to be absorbing as much information and asking them for tips on how they did and how they got to where they are. Of course, it's really important to respect patient confidentiality. You must not talk about anything that's discussed on your work placements with anybody else. You wouldn't want someone talking about your medical issues and you've got to respect the right of the patients also. And my final tip is keep a daily log or diary of what you covered. This is gonna be so useful when you're writing your personal statement or preparing your interview, having a bit of a diary to talk about, to remind you of the experience as though you've just done it, it's gonna be absolutely phenomenal to help you stand out from the crowd. Thanks for watching. I really hope you found that helpful. 
I'm part of a network of over 1,000 professional admissions consultants, and we are deeply proud to have a 90% success rate for our students of getting into their first or second choice university. If you'd like to join them and work with me or one of my colleagues, contact us through the information on screen now or in the description below. Good luck. I hope you get into your first choice university.